So now that I have all my finished uh, artworks, I'm going to choose the best one. So I'm going to flick between them and just have a, have a think about it. Because if I look at this one, I feel like it's very busy. Um, it might be too distracting with the trace on top. So you need to reflect and think which is your very best. This one, maybe the, the red area is a bit dark across the face. So I'm actually going to choose this background I created in Keynote. Uh, I like that there's white space around the face and it's easy to see. So top right corner, we need to export this image. So we click export as an image. So see the images option, click on that. And then we have to go to slide range to select which slide we want to save. Now the slide I've got, you can see it's number five. So I'm going to click five. But if your slide was number four, then you would go four to four. Or if your slide was number three, you would put three to three and then that would save that slide. But mine is five, so I'm going to select that, go back and then export this one. So while it loads, we can see that that's the one. We need to press save image. This will save it to the photos app. So press save image and it should be there. Let's get out of this and go to the photos app and it should be the last thing saved. There it is. Yay, so that's my final artwork ready for Google Classroom. So I'm going to go to Google Classroom, open it up, find the year four art Google Classroom. Don't email this to Miss P or myself. You need to make sure you submit your work to the Google Classroom. You'll find your new assignment there. You'll find your class, whatever class you're in, and you can submit it there. Make sure you press hand in so that we definitely get it. We will leave feedback or comments on your artwork and really excited to see what you can create. Well done, everybody. See you later.